pagkakaila niya. Ati pa lang kami. Hindi naman yung ilalim ito. It's a ball for any incident happen out. Okay. What a video. Let's go. Come on, hold. Thank you. Okay. What's that video? Why don't you make sure it's very... So, let's go to the flying guys here. My boats. We're going to suck in the water. Here's the NNB. Oh, it's not. So... Thank you, thank you. We're going to get a little bit of a boat. Top. And after that, then we are going to go for a cycling trip, but it will be optional for you. Because if you don't like to do that, you can please stay back at the restaurant, walking around, taking pictures, chilling in there. And then we are going to go for the boat trip at the end. After that, then we will go back to Hanoi, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. as you like. I will go over there to pick up the tickets for you and then I will lead you in to introduce to you about the history of this place. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Let's take the ticket, right? Let's take the guys. We're here. So we're here. Okay. 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 So, we're going to go to the lake, guys. So, let's go to the tour guide. Let's go to the ticket. Let's go to the tour guide. Let's go to the tour guide. Let's go to the tour guide. Grabe! Mamangha tayo dito sa lugar na ito. So doon, papasok tayo may ticket yan guys. Grabe. Nabundok naman ito. Halika. So, nandito naman tayo ngayon. Sa Chao Mung Ki Nyen. 1,100 Nam Nyai Sin Din Chen. Ayan, so, grabe. Nantay lang natin yung, ano, yung tour guide natin na kumuha ng ticket para makapasok pa doon sa loob. Ito naman na beautiful place. Wow. Shout out. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Oo, oh, grabe. Grabe guys. Nasa gitna tayo ng mga bundok dito. Grabe, puro lake. Oh, 
Okay, na jan yung ating anak. Ayan naman. Yeah, I'm 100% sure. Ha ha. No more fighting. Ha ha. Pasok na tayo dito guys So may kalabaw Oh Ganda So may kalabaw pa Karabaw dati may ano pa May Laklak pa sa ulo Laklak pa sa ulo ah Chow Mung Ki Nyem To the old ancient capital of Hua Lu of Vietnam that this city has witnessed the birth and the end of three different dynasties in just only 42 years of Vietnam. That at that time, we consider it to be the peaceful time when Vietnam has just been free from the uh, domination of the Chinese for over 1,000 years. But after that, then it just comes up into a lot of chaos when the power in Vietnam was divided between the warlords, those people who seek to put themselves on the throne. At that time, you can consider it to be the real version of Game of Thrones but is in here in Vietnam that we have got over more than 40 years of war but literally we have got three nice kings that help us to resolve all of that that you can take a look at this here this is the way this is the small briefing about the three dynasty in 42 years that we have got in this capital starting from the years of 967 until 1009 then we have settled the capital of Vietnam right in here. And the first king who did that, we called him with the name Ding Tian Huang. He is the Ding Tian Huang is the first king of the Ding dynasty. And he is also the one who is considered to be the strongest warlord over the chaos time of 12 other warlords. He defeated all the others and named himself the first king of Vietnam at that time. Then you can take a look at the first thing over here. You see like a lot of uh, children are sitting on the back of the, of the buffalo. So they are now going for like a fake battle at that time. He's already practiced his strategic mind, but also the power like in the martial art at that moment. In a very young age, he was called to be like the greatest general amongst the children. And later on in the years of 947, at the age of 23, he gathered the soldiers and rally with his friends, his family, and started one army of his own and begin his conquest. After 20 years, then in 967, he named himself the king and comes over here. After that, then he has got a lot, he's got a family, he's a free son, one happy wife, but very unfortunate for him that because of the power, you know, that everyone thirsts for the throne, everyone wants to be on the top. And his first son, his second son, they went against each other and his second son was killed because of his firstborn which is quite a shame that they are all talented they all supported him during the war but they cannot find peace afterwards and also later on Ding Tian Huang and the firstborn also has been murdered by their, his own servant and that came up to be a big tragic at that time the last son of his only eight years old comes up on the throne and brought a very small conflict to us. At that time, many mandarins has went against each other. And there's only one man stood out at that time. He was the greatest general behind Ding Tian Huang. And we called him Lei Huang. He has went on the throne. That you can take a look at the fourth on over there. You see like the throne and like the lady who's giving the shirt to the man. He is Lei Huang, the greatest general at that time and was named to be the king after Ding Tian Huang. And he lead us against another Chinese invasion. You can just imagine like this. At that time, my country, 30,000 men, still not in order yet, fighting against an army of more than 100,000 men from China. But we won at that time. And that is the moment we started the second dynasty for the Lei, 
they even have yeah. them laid. After that, they rule for 24 years and comes up with one last dynasty in here. We call it the Li. And at that time, one king who came up with the idea that you see this whole palace is being surrounded by mountains around here. A strategic position help us win against the Chinese, but cannot develop it well because it's quite small compared to one imperial palace. So the king in the Li dynasty, we call him Li Taito, has chose to move out of here in the years of 1010 and we move to Hanoi. That is the time we got our capital right now, but we called it Tang Long in the past time, but not Hanoi. Tang Long, it means the dragon ascending flying up from the ground to the sky and that is the reason why we named it that way and starting from then we got over 500 years of peace that is the moment we got truly the peace after a long time of being dominated but now i will take you over here we're gonna visit the temple of the first king and you will also see some ancient relic that we preserve it since the times of his starting from the 10th century until now let's go, let's go. Me? No. Uh, no. Why don't you go? Your English is very clear. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And your English is very clear. Hi. Uh, I really want to, but I still need a crew. I'm still okay. recruiting them. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, sometimes I need, like, uh, I need one editor, I need one person who came up with the ideas for me and made more things. So I'm trying to see my sister, my oh. siblings, my friends, and my yeah, sister. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Grabe mga bundok dito guys. So papasok tayo sa temple para i sa atin. since the times of our king that we use it before as the central of power right in this imperial palace so usually if you take a look in the old movies when you see kings then he will sit on the throne and there will be people represent themselves in front of him on the side they will so papasok tayo sa temple guys ang dami oh Palapit na tayo sa ating pool, guys.
Kau nak buat cerita tak sejuk lah. So, nalabas na tayo. <laughs> Tapos na tayo sa temple. Because they don't want to accept the fact that 
that right now, no more democracy is being practicing in there. Because like some people, they still think they should follow the American to follow the democracy and try to sabotage in my country right now. So those are just like the quarrels between people in the country. Well, I have to be there, I think.